Now here's a video you don't expect to make, huh? Our town currently has no 911 service, AT&T service is down, internet's down, everything's down. So, us ham radio people are responding out here. Look at that, got that panel. You guys seen that in another video. We're responding out here to take emergency information down and basically act as a local 911 service. There's our report forms there. And relay the information to our sheriff's department via ham radio. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon. Kind of an unexpected video. Got all my gear set up. Got my panels out, my first aid kits. Um, I really need to tear this down one day and uh, show it to you. It's my emergency kit in the back of my vehicle. Those are tools, and that's all my emergency gear. And that's not gas, it's never had gas in it. That's actually my emergency water. Couldn't find a container that wouldn't keep leaking in my car, so I figured a gas container would do it. <laughs> and I got all my lighting and emergency gear in here. So anyway, you get a quick tour around the, uh, the Iridium Mobile. <laughs> And that's about it. I'll let you know if anything exciting happens out here. So far, it's been a lot of standing around and letting everybody know that we're here in case of uh, emergency. Right on, I'm right off the highway here. So as right you come into town, people can grab me if there's an emergency. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Well, it looks like everything has uh, turned itself back to normal again. Um, the emergency management truck will be by to pick up my signs and my dispatch forms and I'll be headed home but this is some of the uh, interesting stuff you can do with ham radio I'm still stationed out here at the gas station and I'm just waiting to get uh, my stuff picked up and head back home but we do provide communications when nothing else works so just a little quick video of a unique kind of situation that happened today and I will see you guys next time